This is a nomination ceremony. It is my responsibility as the head of household to nominate two house guests for eviction. In my nomination block are the keys of the house guests I am nominating for eviction. I will turn two keys to lock in my nominations and their faces will appear on the memory wall. The first house guest that I have nominated is... The next house guest I have nominated is... I have nominated you, Zakia, and you, Michelle. Nine to one. Do those numbers ring a bell? On my eviction night, that's how the votes fell. Now you guys will feel what eviction night felt. Zakia, this is just pure strategy. If it was up to you, yours truly would be on the block. And to be honest, you never really showed me too much attention. Polly's the only one that gets your affection. Michelle, it should be clear to see. You were rude and mean. Yesterday wasn't the day to piss people off. I really hope that this doesn't ruin any friendships. So I have some beads so y'all can cherish. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. Andrew, it's your turn. Okay, I'm in a rush. Cutie patootie daddy, I love you. I have to talk fast. Um, everybody thought I was going after Brendan and Rachel. There's a reason why I wasn't. Is there someone else in this house that have a stronger relationship? It's a romantic relationship. It's Kristen and Hayden. You need help to get this relationship out. When I was in the Taj room, Sleeping at night, these guys would get together. Kristen would get into the bed, they would do massages, they're kissing, they're doing more. The difference is that these people are out. These two are not out. You have to break up two alliances in this house. They said bad things about people. One, Brittany, these are not about me. Brittany, unfortunately, she doesn't like the way you talk. Reagan, she thinks she has you in your pocket and she's gonna control you if pushing the, your ego up. Lane, Hayden does love you, but he's just taking you to fourth and fifth. Enzo, you know, I can't say it because you're my friend, but the things they said about your intelligence was wrong. I'm here. I want to take them out. That's the reason why you need me in the house. You got to keep the votes. Now, yesterday, there's only one person after my speech didn't come to me, and it was Kristen. Why? Lane, you're a man. You came to me. I love you for that. She's a tin man. She doesn't care about anybody else. Unfortunately, herself, she will break anybody. Hayden, you got to get out of it now. I apologize. You're a great man. You really have to do it. Watch out for Kristen, guys. Captain Kosher out. Thank you very much, Julie. Scry, Captain Kosher, thank you. Yeah. You're way better than that. House lies, guests, lies, lies, lies. That is all true. House I've been guests, in the room. Is, Kristen, this is not your chance to talk. It is time for the live voting to begin. Will, if you could give a speech as to why you would like to be in the house. Go ahead, please. Okay. Traditionally, the uh, nominees uh, speak to the veto holder individually because they're looking for one person to help them but if it's okay with george the power of veto holder and james the hoh holder i'd like to speak to the house as a group this is truly an all-star season because i'm astonished by your gameplay here now a lot of you have come up to me and you've said will you don't really seem like you're into it you don't really seem like you want to play and you said why what was the reason for that and i said to myself i don't know I don't know why I can't be, I don't understand it. So I had to heart to heart with myself and I said, Will, what is the reason? Why are you having such a hard time playing? And this is the truth. Season two, the season that I won, there was a lot of people I hated and it was easy for me to motivate and find individuals that I disliked and it gave me power. It gave me a reason to want to play. It gave me a reason to want to fight. It gave me a reason to want to remove people from the game. Then I thought, so why haven't I had that motivation? And I thought it was because I really liked everyone here. But then I realized 
it was the opposite of that. I can't find an individual to hate because I hate you all. There's no one I hate more than anyone else. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask to be removed from this game by you all. Now, if you refuse to kick me out, I will be throwing every competition, I will throw every HOH, I will throw every POV, and I will throw every food competition. George is on slop, and I will do the best I can to ensure that we all are on slop. Unless you get together, have a big group meeting, and vote me out. So Chicken George, please don't use the power of veto on me. I want this nomination to stay in place. I encourage you to use it yourself. You know why? This man is a badass. He went up against the five wickedest, freakiest Big Brother players, and he whooped their ass. Don't use it. Vote me out. Back to you, George. Godfrey, I would like to give you a chance to tell me why you think I should use the power veto to save you. Sack, bro. If you have any sense in your head at all, I strongly urge you not to use the veto on me. Because if I get off this block, it's you I'm coming after. I want your block on these hands. So don't use it on me. Use the veto on your boy, JP. Using your closest ally as a pawn to send me home? Never a good idea. Zach, I think you should use it. <laughs> He's right. I have decided not to use the power of either. Because this has been a crazy week. Somebody came back in the house, and for my game, it's best to keep the nominations the same. I think that a lot of people are fighting hard to stay in this game, and you're working every single day to stay here. And for that reason, Godfrey, you made your bed, it's time to sleep in it. You awoke a sleeping giant, man. You awoke the sleeping giant. I know this puts my butt on the line. I want to make it clear why I said what I said against somebody that I thought was my friend. I knew by how she was acting with me, she was going to throw the competition. As we were doing the competition, she didn't have her glasses. She never goes without her glasses. So I know what it's like to wake up with a knife in your back. You lied to my face, and I never go back when somebody does that to me. So, if you stay... The on your chart. I get it. Yes. So. All right, here's, here's what my defense is. We all know how he is. Thank you. I'm sorry, but you're not a good person. I would rather throw my head on the toilet bowl and drown than stay with you another week. Brittany, you're right. He asked me to throw the competition. Did I throw it? No, I did not throw the competition. Yeah, you did, because I said I was going to put the veto on your neck. Don't no, even stop. I did not. I'm loving every minute of this veto ceremony. I'm so glad I have a front row seat. I was looking at this person, looking at this person, wondering what you're going to say, wondering what you're going to say back. I was tickled to death. Time out. Going into this, I went to you and I said, if you throw the competition, because Brittany was my original target, I was able to have a couple conversations with her. I realized, you know what, she's here for her kids, and I don't want to do that to her. You did not even No, no, hold on, time out, time out. No, 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 this is after the, no. You're a liar! Everybody listen to this. So am I going to get to finish? You are like, yo, your daughter is going to look at this, and she's going to laugh at you because she hears every single conversation. You have told everybody in the damn house. Hang on. So you're getting called out right now. No, so then, on top of that, I let Hayden and Nicole both know. I said, hey, you guys don't worry. Paolo's gonna throw the comp. This is the best show ever. Until my name gets brought up, I do not want to be associated with this at all. You're right. I had a change of heart. That's why I stayed up in the room the last couple days. I didn't want to talk to anybody. You got what you wanted. All right, perfect. And that's fine. All right, my turn. I never liked Devin in the first place. He hit me with the first jab. 
That gives Zack Attack the green light to come back with an uppercut, and I play dirty. I'm going below the belt. I might have to blow up some other people's game. Frankie, don't feel threatened. Pal, you suck at everything, straight up. It's no big deal. It's true. Devin, there's not an ounce of truth in your body. So, there's no chance in hell I'm going home, letting you know that now. Every single person on this couch, I know you're gonna vote for me. I'm not worried. People on this couch, I'm not really sure at this point. Frankie, I don't really know, but I really hope you vote for me. Caleb, not so sure either. But all you guys know in this room, I'm not going home. Devin, your personality changes with the blow of the wind. I'm going after you. Everyone in this house should be going after you, too. Yep. It's cool with me. No one is ever going to vote for you in the jury. All he does is smile with his fake smile. And uh, I'm, now I'm just, like, ranting on about how much I hate Devin. But um, you're a huge liar, dude. You called the house meeting, crying over your daughter. I would never compromise my honesty or integrity for any amount of money. And you do just that every single day since. Perfect, dude. So what's your response to that? Uh, best of luck to you, bud. All right, touche.